Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in my previous video, I gave you kind of a rundown of the new 2023 Chevrolet Colorado Trail Boss. Um, kind of the features that mine came with, uh, of course, from the factory and from the dealership. Um, what I'd like to do now is maybe get into a little bit more detail as to uh, the features of the truck itself um, and kind of the camera placements um, and really I'll show you a little bit about how clear the, the cameras are and how functional really they are as well. So if you come up right in the front, it's kind of blended in really nicely. I didn't show it in the, in the first video. We got our front camera there. This front camera, I haven't seen anything like it, guys. Um, this is my first, I guess you can say, off-road ready vehicle. Um, I have it. I had a Tacoma before, but it wasn't a TRD or a Pro or anything like that. Um, so I didn't have any of those great, great camera angles that this one options for. So that camera, you can, of course, turn it on when you're trail riding. Um, kind of an unsafe thing, but you can actually turn it on at any time. You can turn it on when you're riding down the road um, and you can see everything crystal clear right in front of you. It makes you kind of sick though, so I don't really recommend doing it while you're driving. Uh, at high speeds, that is. Um, next next camera angle here, kind of tucked under the, the mirror here, is our profile. So this is going to give you views excuse me this is going to give you views of the side of your tire front and back okay excuse me front and back which is really helpful i'm assuming uh when when you're on the trail not to mention uh just in, in parking i can assume too some people even though how small this vehicle is will still have trouble parking it um they can use those <laughs> those cameras if they need um there's the other one here on the driver's side now this particular truck came with all the safety features so i have the parking assist here um and and um, excuse me not to get too off track but here's that other rear view camera and these rear view cameras are great. This one gives you a bird's eye view of the of the trailer hitch. So you can't really miss it when you're backing up. Um, this one also gives you the um, 360 uh, camera angle as well. And I'm going to show you guys that because this thing is so awesome. Um, you know, I've, I've had quite a few new vehicles in my time. Um, and, and really, this one I'm enjoying because it's got everything. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got the look that I want, um, and it's got the capability. Thing tows 7,700 pounds still. Um, and this is the Turbo Plus engine. So I do plan on turning it to the high output, um, which is a really easy uh, upgrade to do. And that's something that I plan on doing. I want to talk with a, maybe a mechanic or, or the dealership first and, 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 and maybe do it before I get too many miles on the vehicle because I'm not sure exactly how that would react after a certain amount of time updating the torque like that. So when you first come in, of course, everyone's talking about the plastic, complaining about the plastic. It looks sharp, guys. It really does. It looks sharp. Um, you, you you don't mind it, and especially if you're if you're looking for an affordable vehicle that looks great, that's trail ready. I mean, you're not caring about if this thing has soft touch leather across uh, the, the 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 armrest here, you know, so you can rest your knee. Uh, I know everyone loves that about the GMC that and 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 the upgraded Z71. Um, and higher trims of this of this you get the the soft touch uh the leather there i went ahead and put these seat covers on i like to just put something there um rather than nothing they're not the best but they do the job this one of course has automatic uh 10-way power adjustable uh, uh driver seat of course with a lumbar mine didn't come with the um uh, of course the rubber mats the vinyl mats there so 
I just took the ones that I had in my truck beforehand, um, before I traded in the truck. Um, I plan on doing that. It's like a hundred bucks to get, or maybe 200 bucks to get the front and back. So pretty cheap. I'll do that. The truck here also came with some auxiliary switches. Now that's also a, a dealer added accessory, which is really helpful if I really want to do anything. Um, I can use that for all sorts of stuff. Um, the trailering uh, uh, brake gain there, trailer brake gain there. And really the look of this thing is awesome. Let me hop in here. Okay. Here, I'll remove her for now. So she's not front and center. The steering wheel, of course, it's not leather wrapped. But again, guys, for the price of this vehicle, you're not going to complain about it. I mean, I don't know how you can complain about it. Right, um, it's enough. It, it feels great. It's comfortable. It has all the points where you where you would want to touch. Um, so I see no complaints. If you want a leather, put a leather wrap around the steering wheel. I guess. I know it doesn't come standard, but this one did uh, come with the optional cruise control. Uh -huh. And I will say the adaptive cruise control on this vehicle is amazing. I do 80 miles a day, guys, on the highway, minimum, five days a week, and I, I, I hardly even have to touch the gas pedal when I'm driving, uh, because really, one, of course, luckily, it's a straight shot down the highway, but not to mention, this thing does it all for me. I'll set it at 80 miles an hour, it'll slow me down all the way to 35, and it'll, and it'll, it'll maintain control, and once traffic speeds up, it speeds up for me. I don't have to do anything. So really great. I find that that's kind of better with gas too because the truck really controls the RPMs really well compared to like my previous Tacoma. It would, if, if it was trying to speed up, it would shoot up crazy high RPMs to then finally settle down. Um, this is not like that at all. This gradually speeds up. Um, maybe at times, you know, if it, if it, you, you hit it weird, it'll, it'll do that, you know, where it feels like, you know, it's got to, it's got to, it's got to hit it hard. But, um, for the m most, m most of the time it's smooth and it maintains the RPMs low, which is what you want if you want great economy, a uh, fuel economy. Okay. Uh, the truck is very simple when it comes to the interior. Um, this one doesn't come with any heated seats or anything like that. Of course, again, not a serious thing, especially here in Florida. Uh, you're never going to need that. Believe me. Start, stop. Of course, your emergency hazard lights. And then it's got the lane keep assist there. Now, you're probably wondering, what's this little button right here? This little button is the uh, floor lighting. So this, another option from the dealer, was uh, lighting. And the floor lights and in the cup holders. So I'll show you guys that shortly, too. Um, of course, you got your uh, four high, four low, two high, and auto. And this is also where you can switch between your Baja, all terrain, uh, normal modes. And again, I'll show you that. Electronic brake control, which um, is obviously something that's just kind of something we're living with now. Um, no classic uh, pedal for the, for the emergency brakes anymore. Here's your window stock here. So your turn signals, up, down, your brights. Obviously, those are auto anyway, so nobody really messes with that anymore. Um, and then your windshield wiper control is done from here. It's kind of a little lever here in the back. Um, and you just go high, low. It took me a second to figure it out, but when I did, it's pretty smooth. You hold this for the, the windshield wiper fluid and everything else black headliner no vanity lighting there that's okay again for the price how can you complain one thing that i would zonk like rady's rides always says um this doesn't extend this doesn't extend and it's really short and stubby and it gets you right in this little area here and of course that's where you need it the most right is where the sun hits you so that's kind of something i mean they were really cheaping out there. Uh, uh, but again, 
I, I can't really say too much. I'm loving the truck, but yeah, you want to, you want, want that to move, but they sell them, you know, you can get a little piece here that clips on and you just slide it out. So no big deal. Figure that out. Um, again, you know, they're doing the simple halogen lighting. Um, this turns on front and back. So it's kind of weird. You can change it back there, but, um, it's kind of simple. Uh, no vanity lighting over there. Um, there's no memory seats, of course, guys. This is a this is affordable vehicle. All right, this is not going to give you anything crazy when it comes to the uh, the accessories. But this is all this is all you need. I mean, this is this is really it. If you're living within your means, this is all you need. 